cool medical gadgets of the future. The Hypospray, as featured in Star Trek, an injection device that is convenient, painless, and fast. Also, it makes a pleasant psh noise. Ever sat in a doctor's office waiting to get a shot, staring as hard as you can into the wall because you don't want to watch a needle going into your arm? Didn't you just wish someone could go around to inventing one of these things? Well, they already have. That's right, I lied. This is actually cool medical gadgets of the past. After witnessing workers accidentally injecting themselves with industrial chemicals when using high-powered nozzles, several doctors got the idea to develop an injection device that uses air pressure instead of needles, or a jet injector. The first jet injector was showcased all the way back in 1866 at the Imperial Medical Academy in Paris. And in 1947, a Dr. Lockhart patented a jet injector in America and branded it the Hypospray. If you're old enough, maybe you remember getting a shot with one of these things. So why don't we use them anymore? Well, they give you AIDS! Or they can. Uh, jet injectors have fundamentally the same problem that needles do. The more you use them, the more likely you are to pass a disease from one person to another. The same air pressure that the jet injector uses to spray medicine into your arm causes your blood and bodily fluids to squirt back into the jet injector. That's just physics! And your blood and bodily fluids can have communicable diseases, and those diseases can then be passed on to the next person who gets injected. In theory, you can design a jet injector that uses some kind of disposable filtered cartridge, but disposable needles are a lot cheaper, so... Oh well.